So now specifically for you film directors out there, uh, if you're unsure of how to approach a film composer, uh, a music composer, on what sort of, what, what do you offer them, how do you approach them, what sort of deals do you make in terms of budget, uh, all of that varies wildly depending on the composer that you're working with. Uh, if you have a very low budget, you need to keep that in mind as you approach a composer, and you should probably find a composer that doesn't have much of a resume behind them. Uh, more often than not, those sort of composers are willing to work for free because the exchange for exposure uh, can be very worth it to them. I have kind of my own personal set price on what I like, but if I'm working up in terms of quality, like if I'm reaching out and going, wow, I've never done this sort of project before or worked with this prestigious uh, producer or whatever, I, I'm willing to negotiate the, the price point because um, I know I'm getting more than just the, the monetary, the, the money side of things. Never assume the film composer will work for free because that can be really insulting. It's always good to start and say, if I have this much money, are you, are you willing to work with that? And the film composer will say, sure, or no, I might need to do some more, or whatever. So that's always a good way to start, is just say, here's my budget, what can I get for this? And the film composer will let you know if it's worth their time or not. A good place to look for film composers is on YouTube, on SoundCloud, and other, like maybe Facebook type uh, groups, film composer groups. Uh, there's a wide variety of composers out there, so you do need to do your research just like anybody else. And I tell composers this all the time, make sure you have a website, uh, a resume of sorts, just something compiled where you can listen. So that's what you'd want to listen for and look for in a film composer, is what have they done and what do they sound like. If you find a film composer that every single piece they do is completely different, and you, you won't really get a good idea of what you want or what you're getting if you hire that sort of film composer. Once you establish the connection, uh, it's a very, very important thing to remember is that you don't want to waste the composer's time. Uh, unless the composer is incredibly accommodating and it's obvious they don't have a lot going on, <laughs> then, you know, feel free to, to kind of use uh, the resources available there. But the best time to start getting music from a composer is after you've locked a cut. If you say, this scene is finished, you know, or this 10 minutes of film is, is finished and I'm not going to be changing the time codes on the scenes, that's when to start sending the, um, the footage to the composer. You don't have to worry about color grading, you don't even really have to worry about sound effects and everything. Just make sure the, the length of the, f of the scenes and the frames are set. Even with technology, it's easier for composers to move things around inside their project files, uh, but it can be a big headache and it can take almost as long as it took the composer to compose a film as it would be to re-edit a piece if you suddenly start changing all the time codes. So really don't be making big edits unless it's absolutely necessary to the final product. Other than giving them finished footage or finished footage, you know. Uh, another good time to start getting music from them uh, might be when you're cutting a trailer, just to get an idea of what sort of themes you're gonna be using, what sort of motifs, what sort of general sound. Uh, another thing to do is just request, say, hey, like, can you give me an idea of a theme? Um, unless you're paying them for that music, don't expect a lot, like don't ask, never, please never ask a composer, like give me a finished theme so I know what I'm getting. Generally speaking, it's easier for composers to compose for film when they're working with film. So if you just say, hey, I'm writing a movie about this, here's the script, write some music so I can get an idea. Uh, it's not gonna be as effective. Don't be afraid to ask, but just understand that you might not get a finished perfect product and it might just be a piano sketch, it might just be like 30 seconds of an idea. Uh, just. Be aware that you need to use your imagination um, in talking through with the composer. Also be willing to listen to the composer's input because they have a very different eye for the film. So I've noticed a lot of directors enjoy film music and they listen to a lot of film music, but that doesn't mean they're experts in film music. Uh, they might know what they like, especially if they work with temp music, but oftentimes film directors are kind of tied up in what works currently in film, or whatever film style they happen to be very interested in. Composers can offer a nice kind of other angle, saying, well, what if we don't go the very obvious route? What if we kind of avoid these cliches? Uh, so yeah, just be very open and honest in dialogue with your composer, and I think you'll have a great product in the end.